Expectations of strong sales this festive season have led to a sharp run-up in shares of jewellery retailers in the past few months. For instance, shares of Kalyan Jewellers and PC Jeweller have rallied up to 380% so far in fiscal 2023, while Titan is up 3% as compared to a fractional decline in the BSE Sensex during this period. Going by past trends, jewellers could see bumper sales this Dhanteras riding on high pent-up demand after a COVID-19 lull and softening in gold prices. As per HDFC Securities, the first 10 festive days have already clocked 20% jewellery sales volume growth. Analysts remain fairly upbeat on jewellery stocks as they expect this trend to continue going forward. So, currently we are in peak season from now till uh, February. Because of marriage season, festival season, there's a lot of buying can happen in jewelry. And uh, because of the pent up demand uh, during COVID, a lot of uh, people are now getting married and they are spending money on jewelry. So this is causing some above normal push to the demand. So, net net, uh, the current output is positive. One will have to check as to whether uh, valuations have already run up or this, there is still some scope that we'll have to always keep in mind. We'll have to uh, be aware of whether we are overpaying at some point or not. The upbeat outlook has also been backed by the industry in their recent pre-quarterly updates. For the July-September quarter, Titan said it saw a healthy 18% yearly growth in its jewellery sales, while Kalyan Jewellers' overall sales grew 20% on positive consumer sentiment and increased store walk-ins. The latter added that it has seen significant benefits from the ongoing shift in demand towards branded retail outlets. This transition among shoppers from traditional small retailers to national chains is another key factor making analysts positive on the space. Yeah, after COVID, now people are coming out to buy. Jewelry cannot be bought on online. So it has to be, you know, direct, you know, they have to wear, see, you know, they have to like the design. And, you know, the important shift which is happening is from unorganized to organized, you know. So that is giving the organized player a very good thing. And I think it is a structural bull rally in jewelry sector as... Uh, Market share gain will be there for organized sector in a very big way. Whenever gold prices decline, they will have a negative impact because their inventory, you know, inventory will be at a higher cost. So that will have an impact. But you know, over a period of time, it everything gets adjusted. If you are looking at quarter every quarter, you no, know, then it will have an impact. But year on year basis, you know, these are manageable. At certain point, you know, the gold will become stable or it will start to rally. That time things will start to work out for them. Among stocks, IDBI Capital's Prabhakar remains bullish on Titan and Kalyan Jewelers from a long-term perspective. Though he does not expect the sector to mirror the recent rally in the short term as the street has already factored in festive season gains. Today, foreign flows and global queues will guide the markets. Besides, the Q2 earnings of three nifty companies, Indus in Bank, Nestle and Ultratech Cement, will also be tracked. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.